What is plasma? Plasma is an ionized gas consisting of positive ions and free electrons. It's created by heating a gas or subjecting a gas to a strong electromagnetic field. The air we breathe is a gas. Using a ZVS driver circuit with the flyback transformer, we can create a strong electromagnetic field to subject that air to and generate some plasma. Now, when you use a neodymium magnet, which is conductive, as the low voltage electrode to your flyback transformer while generating plasma, you can observe the plasma flowing through the magnetic lines of force because the constituents of plasma, ions and electrons, are magnetic. Now, something interesting, while playing with my plasma, I noticed that when it burned through the electrical tape on my chicken stick, the plasma generated turned orange. Now, I think that's because it began generating plasma at a lower temperature and therefore the thermal frequency was lowered. But if you have any other ideas on what happened, please let me know in the comments. I would appreciate that very much. Speaking of orange plasma, let's move on to fire. Now, fire is the visible effect of the process of combustion in which a fuel combines with an oxidizer and gives out light and heat. In the case of a candle, the oxidizer is oxygen from air and the fuel is the wax. The wick is ignited and melts the wax beneath it into a liquid. The wax gets drawn up through the burning wick via the capillary action, which is a cool process in itself. The heat of the flame vaporizes the wax in the wick to a hot gas. The hot gas then mixes with oxygen and gets ignited by the flame that melted the wax in the first place. And then the cycle continues while you observe a nice steady flame. But what is fire beyond that? If fire gets hot enough, the gases within it can become ionized and be considered a plasma. But the gases in a fire are already slightly ionized. Maybe not a lot, but they're certainly conductive and respond to electrical fields. By definition, plasma is an ionized gas consisting of positive ions and free electrons and is created by heating a gas or by subjecting a gas to a strong electromagnetic field. So heating vaporized wax and oxygen with fire sounds like it might fall into that definition. But if you search the internet for these answers, you will find a bunch of people a lot smarter than me arguing whether or not the flame of this candle is actually a plasma. So I'll let you come to your own conclusion on that. What I can tell you though, is that it's definitely conductive and responds to electrical fields, as you can see here. Some theorize you can use magnets to put out fires because oxygen is paramagnetic, but the strength of the magnetic field you would need in order to impact the oxygen within the fire would have to be so powerful, it would likely destroy the device generating the magnetic field in the first place. So the only real way to control fire with magnets right now is by pouring enough magnets onto the fire to hopefully snuff it out. So thanks for watching my video. I appreciate you and your time. If you enjoyed it and you maybe learned something, uh, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have any disagreements with the things that I've said, please let me know in the comments. And if you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe so you can see more of my videos. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much. I appreciate you and all the time you spend wasting watching my content. So thanks for watching and have a great day.